Hi everybody. Once again, I am here with the continuation of Class Nine Physics, Chapter Force and Laws of Motion. We were doing the NCERT exercise questions, and a few more questions are left. So let us continue with these remaining questions. The next question is question number fifteen one five. The question is. An object of mass one kg, traveling in a straight line with a velocity of ten meter per second, collide with and stick to a stationary wooden block of mass five kg. Then they both move off together in the same straight line. Calculate the total momentum just before the impact. Just after the impact, also calculate the velocity of the combined object. So three questions are there. Three parts are there in this question. First one, find the momentum before the impact means before the collision. What will be the formula? Momentum before the impact, m u. Momentum after the impact, m v. Now. What is the velocity of the body after the <coughs> collision? Remember, the first object collides with the second object, and they stick together and move together. So there is no v1, v2 in this question. Only v. Let v be the velocity of the two bodies after collision. Since they are moving together after collision, always remember in such cases. There is no v1, v2, but it will be only v. So what are given? An object of mass one kg. So this is question number fifteen. Given mass of the object one kg. It is moving with a velocity of ten meter per second. So u is equal to ten meter per second. And stick to a stationary wooden block of mass five kg. So this is m one and u one. It is colliding with another body of mass five kg, and it is stationary. So its initial velocity u two will be zero. Then the question. Then they both move off together in the same straight line. After collision, calculate the total momentum just before the impact, just after the impact, and calculate the velocity of the combined object. So, let the velocity of the combined object Let the velocity of the combined object after collision be v. Now there are three parts of the question. First one, total momentum before the impact. So total momentum before the impact. What is the formula? M one u one plus M two u two. M one u one plus M two u two. Substitute the values. One into ten plus M two five, but u two is zero. So one into ten ten plus five into zero zero is equal to ten <coughs> kg meter per. Second, so total momentum before the impact is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal to 10 kilogram meter per second. Now total momentum after the impact.
So what will be the formula for total momentum after the impact? Remember, there is no V1 and V2, <coughs> but it is M1V plus M2V. Is it? Ah, now. But we know that there is no V in this question. But we know that by law of conservation of momentum, total momentum before the impact is equal to total momentum after the impact. This is law of conservation of momentum. So without any calculation you can straight away write total momentum before the impact and after the impact as same. So the answer is again 10. So total momentum after the impact is equal to total momentum before the impact so you can straight away right is equal to 10 kg meter per second now we are asked to find what V now we are also asked to find V but we know that this total momentum after the impact can also be calculated by what is the formula M1V plus M2V and we got the answer as 10 so M1 plus M2 into V is equal to 10 M1 is 1 M2 is 5 so 6V is equal to 10 V is equal to 10 upon 6 is equal to 5 upon 3 meter per second. Come up with me, see once again. M1 is given, U1 is given. M2 is given, U2 is given. Since both the bodies combine together after the collision, the combined velocity of the combined object is taken as V. Now, first part of the question. Total momentum before the impact. Formula M1 U1 plus M2 U2. And this is the answer. Second part of the question. Total momentum after the impact. By the law of conservation of momentum, we know that total momentum before the impact is equal to total momentum after the impact. Therefore, total momentum after the impact is straight away 10 kilogram per sorry, kilogram meter per second. Now, in order to find this V, we are using the formula total momentum after the impact has a formula that is M1V plus M2V that is M1 plus M2 into V. So, we got V is equal to 5 upon 3 meter per second. I hope it is clear to all of you. Okay. So, that is question number 15. Now, see question number 16. An object of mass 100 kg is accelerated uniformly with a velocity of 5 meter per second to 8 meter per second in 6 seconds. So what are given? Question number 16. An object of mass 100 kg. So given M is equal to 100 kg. Is accelerated uniformly from a velocity of 5 meter per second. That is U is equal to 5 meter per second. And V is equal to 8 meter per second in time t 6 second calculate the initial and the final momentum of the object also find the magnitude of force exerted on the object once again three parts initial momentum of the body final momentum of the body 
and the magnitude of force. What is initial momentum? Initial momentum of the object is given by the formula mu is equal to 100 into 5 is equal to 500 kg meter per second. This is initial momentum of the body. Now we have <coughs> final momentum. And we know the formula for final momentum is mv is equal to 100 into h is equal to 800 kg meter per second. This final momentum. Now we are asked to find the force exerted on the object. We know the formula F is equal to MA, but we have no A in the question. So, first of all, we can go for A with formula UVT with formula can be used first equation of motion. You see, first equation of motion now V is equal to U plus AT. That is, A is equal to 5 plus A into 6. Bring it here. 8 minus 5 is equal to 6A. 8 minus 5 is 3. That is, 3 is equal to 6A. Or, A is equal to 3 upon 6 is equal to 1 upon 2 meter per second square. So we got acceleration A is equal to 1 upon 2 meter per second square. Now we will use the formula for F. F is equal to MA. M is 100. A is 1 upon 2 unit Newton. 100 into 1 upon 2 is equal to 50 Newton. I have all of you got it. Simple question. Initial momentum mu, final momentum mv. U and v are given, m is also given. Now the last part, calculate the force. F, force F is equal to ma. A was not given, but we can use first equation of motion to find the value of A, then F is equal to ma. Clear? Yes, now question number 17. It's a very long question. It's actually a question for your critical thinking. It's a logic question. Just to check your critical thinking, I'm giving you as homework. Please read the question. It's a little long question. And I may give you only one hint. You think and find out the reason. Here, the, there are three boys. Commenting about a particular incident and the question is who is right? Okay, final question. Uh, <clears throat> comment on these suggestions. Three students are giving three uh, suggestions. You are asked to comment on it. I may tell you the answer directly with a hint. The third boy is correct. His logic is more correct. Why? You may go through the question and find it. It is simply a logical question for your critical thinking. Coming to the last question, question number 18. How much momentum will a dumbbell of mass 10 kg transfer to the floor if it falls from a height of 80 cm? Take its downward acceleration as 10 m per second square.
So this is question number 18. Given mass of the dumbbell that is M is equal to 10 kg. It is falling from a height of 80 cm. So whenever a body is falling from a certain height, its initial velocity u will be equal to 0. Already I told you, whenever a body is dropped from a height, u is equal to 0. Whenever a body is thrown upwards, v is equal to 0. So here u is equal to 0. And height is given, height means for us it is s. 80 centimeter is equal to 0 0.8 meter. And the downward, downward acceleration is given 10 meter per second square. Question How much momentum will it transfer to the floor? The momentum that it will transfer to the floor is equal to its final momentum. When this dumbbell falls down and reaches the floor, the last momentum that is called final momentum that in their final momentum of the body will be transferred to the ground so actually we are asked to calculate final momentum of this body that is mv so do we have v here no usa how can we find v using third equation of motion so i am using the third equation of motion v square minus u square is equal to 2as v square minus 0 square is equal to 2 into 10 into 0 0.8 that is v square is equal to 2 into 8 16 v is equal to under root 16 is equal to 4 meter per second therefore Final momentum of the body. Is equal to MV which is equal to 10 into 4 kilogram meter per second is equal to 40 kilogram meter per second. Final momentum of the body is equal to 40 kilogram meter per second. So, what is the momentum that will be transferred to the ground? Same 40 kilogram meter per second. So, after this you have to write one more sentence. This momentum will be transferred to the ground. Therefore, momentum that is transferred to the ground by this object is equal to 40 kilogram meter per second. That is the end of this exercise. Now there is one more extra exercise. Yes, one additional exercise is left. So that is the end of this exercise. So that's all for today. Please go through these numericals once again. And thank you for being with me. Please take care and study well. Bye. Thank you.